What's up, Brew Nation? Jason Fry coming at you from the Brew Born Gym right here in sunny Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, today's topic, I just wanted to go over a little interesting story that happened to me yesterday. Um, basically, the story goes like this. Uh, I took one of my student athletes to the chiropractor because he was having some pain um, in his lower back and it was just ongoing and we couldn't really figure out what the problem was. So one of my chiropractors that I go to that I love. Uh, he's worked with many, many athletes. Um, I knew that he would be a good good start to go to, um, whether he needed to get MRI, x-rays, whatever. I knew he would he would have all the answers. I mean, we, we delved into this many times. Um, you know, other coaches have looked at him. Um, myself, you know, we thought possibly it was a hernia, possibly, um, you know, just some hip flexor, stuff like that. We just couldn't figure it out because it was just it was just weird. It was very w weird to say the least. But um, again, I'm no doctor, so I'm not. I don't have any uh, things I can tell him to go see uh, MRI and, and sign off on or anything like that. So I figured the easiest way right now is to go to my chiropractor, who, like I said, has a vast knowledge in this. Um, so we took him there. We're gonna call him Steve, and Steve did his uh, consultation with with. Uh, with uh, my guy and uh you know basically told him what was going on where it hurts everything going like that well as the consultation went on uh some of the things you know he talked about was um you know how much sleep he gets a night um how much water he drinks and how much food he's consuming because i had told you know the chiropractor you know how hard this kid trains i mean he trains like an animal i mean he does he's been doing two days for months now and um, before that, you know, still coming in at five in the morning and training and, um, you know, working his tail off. So I always tell my athletes I train with and, and the ones that know me that, you know, know one of my biggest things is eating. And, and if you're not eating, don't even allow it, waste your time. And, but I mean, most, most people know that. I know they don't eat enough, but they do know they have to eat. The second is sleep. You know, if you're not sleeping enough, you're just not getting, you're not recovering. No matter if you have an injury or you're sore or you just worked out hard or you did batting practice for an hour or you did fielding practice for an hour or you did drills for an hour. If you're not getting your right, the right amount of rest, you're, you're just hurting yourself. Um, so let's say Steve told, you know, said, hey, he's only getting like three hours sleep. Bam. You, you should have seen his head almost explode. I mean, he said right there. He's like, there's no way you're going anywhere near college, anywhere near a professional field with that type of sleep. It's just, it's just not going to happen. Um, you know, and I've told him this, I told him, I said, yeah, you gotta, you gotta do it. Um, but still he just, you know, would not sleep But that's, and I get it kids today. That's what they do. I get it. Um, but if you're a parent out there or your kid out there and you know, you feel like something's lagging, look at how many hours of sleep you're getting. I mean, he said straight up a minimum of eight. Kids that are training at any level of, uh, especially at the high school level, a minimum of 10. I know it's tough. They got school, they got practice, got everything else. But this is, you know, not me saying it. I didn't say it. I mean, yeah, I do say it. But this was him telling, you know, one of my, my athletes, hey, you're just not getting enough sleep. Plain and simple. The next thing was he was going over the discs in um the back and what they're made out of and what are they made out of 90 percent water um some proteins in there some aminos but most of it majority of it is water the body is majority water so that was the next question how much water are you getting in a couple glasses a day for his weight for where he was at he was looking at a minimum of a gallon and a half that he should be getting in and that was without training so with train, they're saying he would say probably recommend at least two gallons, two gallons of water. Steve was probably getting in maybe a half gallon at best a day. And he's supposed to get two. Now think about all that stuff. Food, rest, water. The ones that are going places know this. The ones that aren't, don't. It's as simple as that. You can't go to practice. You can't go to the weight room. You can't go to the batting cages if you're not rested. 
if you're not fed, if you're just, you know, tired and you don't have the energy, you're lacking energy because of sleep deprivation, you got to do it. I know you parents out there, you want to post your pictures of your kids at the, at the uh, what should we call it, batting cages, getting their reps in, getting their works in. You want to post your pictures of your kids at the gym, getting your reps in, grinding and out, this and that. And that's awesome. That's what I do. I love it. You know, but us as trainers, as coaches, as all that, we cannot go to your house and make sure they're sleeping, make sure they're drinking enough. We just can't. That's something that falls on whether the parent or the athlete. But we can't do it. And those are things that are just so far more important than going to the gym, going to the batting cages, going to practice. Trust me. Ask anyone, they'll tell you. Yeah, all that is important. It is, it is, it is, it is. But if you're not getting the right amount of nutrition, if you're not getting the right amount of water, and if you're not getting the right amount of sleep, forget about it, game over. So I just thought I'd tell you that cute little story because like I said, I tell all my athletes, eat, sleep, lift, repeat. And it goes kind of in that order. Eat, sleep, train, repeat. You gotta get that nutrition. Can't train like a horse and eat like a mouse. Plain as that, and you gotta sleep. You gotta sleep. All right, that's my story for today. Take it easy, stay brutal. Go ahead, have a good day.